currently we have added one text form field over here if you can see we need to add some more right so this is for username we need to add for the first name last name date of birth uh, and so on so currently we have this there is a, a different way of completing it you can either just copy the whole thing just copy and uh, paste it below over here and uh, then if you just run it you will see another one the text form field has been added you can uh, just do it this way that should be uh, completely fine but if you want to uh, do it in a better way there is a, a different way of completing this one we can extract this text form field as a widget and then we can just implement that over here so currently this we need to add some uh, padding over here or we need to add some uh, margin over here right so what we'll do is we'll just go and add a, a size box over here and i think size um, box and then we will add a height and then height we will just give it as a something like i think it should be fine i think at the zero and this should be of a constant right so we should make it as a constant and then if you just run it again and you can see we have some uh, the height over here the padding that we have set up over here so what we will do now is we will just delete this one and we will be not using this way so this is a lot of messy code that you will put on a same file over here right so you must reduce the code as much as possible in this particular file because it will be more readable right and more understandable for everybody so what we have to do is we need to extract this one so you can just click on this bubble or some information icon over here uh, if you are using a visual studio and then we will just extract the widget right so we will extract it and we'll give a new name for this widget and we'll just call it as a custom uh, text uh, form field right custom text form f i no f i e l d right f i e l d so that will extract a different class for us you can see it has added a different class for us and also has added a final field which we need to pass through the constructor so that's good so what we will do is i'll just create one more folder over here and i'll call it as a widget over here and uh, we will create uh, another one more file and call it as a uh, custom and uh, text form custom text form field right so custom text form f i e l d field dot the dot file and once we have that uh, you can just go over here and copy the or cut this class we need to extract this out so just cut it from here and go and paste it over here and just import the material package over here and that should be fine so now we need to pass the the controller over here and also we will be passing the text right so we need to pass the label and the controller so i'll just create another final uh, variable over here final that should be of a string and we'll call it as a txt uh, label -E, txt label and this label we also need to pass in over here so uh, we need to pass in required and required of the string that should be of the txt label right so just copy this one and pass pass it over here that should be fine right and what is the error that we are getting over here so the required text editing controller all final variable must be initialized okay so the things is that uh, we need to txt and i need to make it as a um, as a private variable over here and then also i need to add it over here so on this code that we have as a txt label which is of equals to the txt label that we are getting and i'll just put it comma and that should be fine so now what we will also make it as uh, optional just put it the curly brace over here and uh, then that should be fine so what we have to make it as a uh, why it is giving me an error and let me just arrange it properly right so that should be fine let me arrange it 
and what is going on over here oh okay sorry sorry i there is already a curly brace uh, so i don't have to add in right so sorry for that one there was already a curly brace that's why this is the curly brace so we uh, make our parameter as a named parameter so we can call it by name so i thought it was not there but it is already there so that's good so we have fixed that one and now here in the text instead of calling this particular username we will call the dollar underscore the this one right so we need this one so just copy this one and just uh, paste it over here all right so that is the one that we need and i think that we need to remove the const from here because that is not the this is not the const oh okay so this should not be our dollar sign over here because we are not doing a in string interpolation over here we are di directly calling that particular string over here and also for this one we need to pass it as a const over there and uh, that should be fine and also on the return over here we don't need this username so we just have to call dollar underscore and the txt label so this text label cannot be empty so whatever uh, we are passing as a label so we don't have to hard code it right so we can just say that the username cannot be empty uh, first name cannot be empty last name cannot be empty so on right so that should be fine i think and finally we can just return a null from here that's giving some information okay so that should be fine and if i go back to my this particular add employee class over here and we need to import this package now so import this particular package and then we need to pass the controller as well as we need to pass the uh, txt label right so label we need to pass some string so this should be of a user name right and uh, now if i go and run my application you can see that we are having a same kind of a text field uh, the thing is the uh, we have changes the code is very much less in this particular add employee screen so what we can do is we can just copy the whole line and this two line and paste it uh, below over here and then just here i can just pass it as a first name right and then we need to pass the controller so controller i have to create a different controller you cannot use the same controller over here that should be of a i need to give it as a first name controller and this one should be of the okay it should be of our first name controller and this should be of a user name controller right so we have a two so this should be of underscore uh, username controller and here we should pass it as a first name controller so if i just run this one again and we got that first name and username and first name so you can do the same thing for the rest of it so i just copy this one and i'll just go and paste it below and then i will add a one more below over here and this will be of our last name first username first name last name and let us call it get the uh, date of birth right so we will have three uh, sorry four so i need to duplicate this line for two times then that should be of the first name not the first name so it should be of the first name and the last name controller so i think controller should should be in the caps so just make sure that it should it is in the caps later and the first name last name and this should be of a date of date of birth right so date of birth controller so we have to just change this one again this controller rename it to and first name and this one should be of our last name controller and this one should be of the underscore date of birth controller okay so od not only date of birth right so that should be date of birth if i run my application then you should get a form over here right so for username first name last name and date of birth 
so um that's all for this lesson i i think we just completed over here so you can see that the code is much less over here otherwise you have to write this particular line of code multiple time over there right and this is how we can refactor our code and made make it as a more readable and understandable code so let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day